Hello, it's Disney Card Toys here, and today I'm going to show you the special Play-Doh Plus Design a Dress Ballroom Set. Here is everything that comes with this set. I'm going to start with Belle. We're going to make her a beautiful ball gown that is very similar to the one that you see when she dances with the Beast in the movie. So first we'll attach her skirt. Then we'll roll out some of the golden Play-Doh. The pattern that is on the skirt we want to transfer onto the Play-Doh. So we're going to press the Play-Doh into the skirt. Then we peel it off and flip it over and place it back onto the skirt. Then we'll use this mold to make Bella top. Okay, here's the top of her dress. I just love the golden color. And now Belle needs a hair accessory, so we're going to make her a hair bow. The purple bow goes really well with her golden dress and brown hair. Next, I'm going to add a single ribbon around her waist using the Play-Doh Plus Play-Doh, which is much softer and easier to extrude. And I can't forget a bracelet! Belle is now ready for the ball with her beautiful golden ball gown and her purple accessories. Next, we are going to enhance Rapunzel's dress. I really love her dress the way it is, so I'm not going to change it too much. In the Tangled movie, children put tons of flowers throughout her hair, and it's beautiful. So I'm going to put lots of flowers on her dress and in her hair. I'm going to first place the flowers at the top of her dress, so that almost looks like a ribbon made out of flowers. Then we'll put the flowers at the bottom of her dress. As you can see, I used two different colors of Play-Doh to make these flowers. And then added a flower to her hair. And I used the mold to make pink sleeves for her dress. Here is a complete Rapunzel dress. She is now ready for the ball with all of her floral accents. Time to show off your dress, Rapunzel! The next Disney Princess dress we're going to make is one for Ariel. The first thing we have to do is cover up her fin because she can't attend a ball with a mermaid fin. We'll make her a top using silver Play-Doh. And we'll make accents to her skirt as well. We'll just place the Play-Doh on the doll. Using Play-Doh Plus I added pink ribbons and also a pink heart clip. Here is Ariel's completed gown with pink and silver accents to her purple skirt. The last Disney Princess ball gown that we are going to make is Cinderella. I'm going to add a beautiful yellow ribbon at the top of her skirt so it will match her blonde hair. You can just twist it up and down. I will add a wavy ribbon to the bottom of her skirt to match the ribbon that is at the top of her skirt. And I'm doing this using Play-Doh Plus. We're going to stick to the colors of yellow and blue by adding a dark blue top and a dark blue hair bow. Cinderella is now ready for the ball with a beautiful blue and yellow ensemble. Here are all the Disney Princess ball gowns that we made today. In the comment section, let me know which dress is your favorite. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hello, Disney Car Toys here with Anna and Kristoff from the Disney movie Frozen, and today we're doing a Play-Doh makeover wedding style. I can teach you how to make a tuxedo for Kristoff and a wedding dress for Anna. Let's start with Anna. So first we'll take off the fabric skirt that she's already wearing, and then we'll cover up her plastic body with Play-Doh Plus. Now I'm going to use Play-Doh Plus instead of regular Play-Doh because Play-Doh Plus is much easier to form on such a small area like Anna's body. Plus with Play-Doh Plus, you don't have to roll it out or cut it, you just form it. Now we just covered her top half in the Play-Doh Plus, and since she's wearing gloves already, I figured I'd just leave her gloves and sleeves green for the dress. We'll add a green ribbon, make it match and look nice. And Play-Doh Plus is perfect for the skirt, too, because we can just add this huge glob of Play-Doh and form it to her body, and it's going to stick to her really well, and then we'll push the bottom of the dress up to make it look nice and full, just like this. And then in the skirt of the dress, I'm going to 
Take my Play-Doh knife and draw little U's in the dress to make it look like she's got ruffles on. And just keep on doing that across the whole skirt, on the bottom and the top and the back. And this makes it look more real. Okay, the front is done, so let's do the back. Same thing, just little loops up and down. And it really does a nice pattern on her skirt. And for her top, I'm just going to make tiny little divots in the top just to make it look like beads. Add some more design up here. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to tie her sleeve color into the dress color and make some green and blue Play-Doh Plus together to make the nice aqua green color like her gloves. And we're adding a little ribbon to her dress. That looks really cool, and the color's right on too, which is great. And of course, her little pink hat doesn't totally go with the wedding theme, so we're going to cover this up with Play-Doh Plus. And for two reasons, just to make it match the dress, but also, this little cover will help stick her veil on. For Anna's veil, I'm actually going to just take this little piece of clothing off of her sister, Elsa. And this is actually a really perfect veil. As Elsa just wears it over her dress. We don't need the skirt. And right here, it already just looks like a veil. All the Frozen dolls in this wedding makeover video are actually from a toy that I reviewed earlier. The toy is the Disney Frozen Complete Story Set. Let's give Princess Anna her veil. And this looks amazing. You can't even tell that it came from Elsa's dress at all. And here is Princess Anna's complete wedding ensemble. I just left her boots the same because she's kind of spunky. I figured she'd want to keep the big black boots. But probably my most favorite thing about the dress is the big poofy skirt with the ruffles and the veil. Now it's time to transform Kristoff. I'm going to roll out some white play-doh for his dress shirt. And instead of making a complete shirt, we're just going to cut out a little triangle because that's what we're going to see underneath his suit jacket. So cut out a pretty large, long triangle. And then cut out two smaller triangles, which we'll use for the collar. Then roll out some black Play-Doh for the suit jacket. I'm going to use Kristoff to help me measure out how tall I need to make this suit jacket. But we're going to just cut out a rectangle piece for the front of the suit jacket. And we'll take that piece and we'll place it on Kristoff's body. Press it pretty tight to his body and around his sides. Then we'll take the little white triangle that we made and we'll place it at the top of the suit jacket so it looks like there's a shirt underneath his tuxedo. After that, you want to take another rectangular piece and cut it out and place it on the back of Kristoff and connect that piece to the front piece down the sides. And I've got a little extra here so we'll just cut off the extra length and we're done. With the tiny triangles that we made earlier, we're going to just put at the top of his shirt as a collar. I don't picture Kristoff as a tie or bow tie wearing guy, but we can add some buttons for his shirt. The last thing we need to do is make his sleeves, and I'm just going to grab a little bit of extra Play-Doh, and we'll just form it to his arm. With both outfits complete, you now may kiss the bride. Mwah! Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching and have a great day!